Okay, so just a uh, second video here, just a quick one. This one is going to be blockchain 101 understanding fundamentals. So it's just because of all the exchange drama. Uh, I just got to kind of break it down for people. So let's let's try to wrap our head around this real quick. The concept of blockchain and crypto, it's, it's really simple if people just understand these fundamentals. Um, picture a, an entire array of mailboxes all behind lock and key, right? So this would be something you'd see at the post office, um, all the post office boxes, or at a condo where, you know, all the mailboxes are together and they all have a key, right? That's the blockchain right there in a nutshell. Uh, you can't just go and get into other people's boxes. That That's because you don't have the damn key, right? So what's the key? Those are your private keys or your secret numbers that you would use to activate your wallet and things like that, right? Um, you get those when creating your, your wallet address and you save them, you write them down, you save them. Uh, whether you have a, a paper wallet or a software wallet on your phone or a software wallet on your computer or a damn ledger nano it is inside of the blockchain it's not inside of that device ever it's always inside of the blockchain the reason that an exchange won't give you the keys when you, to the account that you're sending to is because they don't want you to just like load that up in another device and transfer the funds to wherever you want it's it's so that they have custody and control over the assets. Imagine if you had the private keys to the wallets um, that were holding your crypto on the blockchain, right? If you did, you would just be able to withdraw it, even if they um, they put a hold on it. It wouldn't matter. You would just be able to pull it out with you know the access of your key uh, bound into another wallet. So essentially your private keys allow you to create um, from blanks, which would be like hardware wallets um, of any type. That, that key is like the design that allows you to craft a key. And the, the tool is those hardware, software, whatever wallets, they access um, that lockbox on the blockchain. So your your private key literally is is like the combination or pattern required to create a key that will access that box. And the key is is to that box like um, just the the creation of that pattern that allows you to open up the box. But everything is stored in the blockchain right it's just when it's on an exchange you don't have the private keys so you literally have to use their portal their permission their structure to get into those funds but if you had the private keys of the exchange um, of the wallet that they're using that's holding your funds it doesn't matter what their damn website says you would be able to just pull your funds out even if they put a block on it because it's it's all sitting inside of blockchains all the time the only reason that it's safe and secure is because people haven't hacked the blockchain and people don't have access to your lockbox right so just to understand it your private keys allow you to create keys physical keys like in a, in a sense and those are capable of opening up your your lockbox and and giving you access to it so just just try to understand that uh don't keep your stuff on exchanges because you don't have access or control over it they do they always will and not your keys not your crypto um but just the whole understanding that people don't don't seem to wrap their heads around is it's always in the internet it's always online it's always um an open system that anybody can get into. You don't ever store your, your actual crypto inside of anything. It never even is there. You have observation and ability to move it, but that's all communications with the internet and that, that blockchain network. Your crypto sits inside of the internet, inside of the blockchain at all times, be it a, a software wallet that you load, load your keys into or 
or a paper wallet, doesn't matter. It's always all inside of the blockchain, right? So that's the understanding for uh, just the basics, the 101, that um, new, new people to the, to the entire crypto space should try to wrap their head around. Anyway, have a wonderful day, guys. Bye.